in the next five minutes or less, we're going to talk about priority and setting priorities in your health and fitness. So if you're currently struggling with making the time, let's say, for going to work out regularly, if you're struggling with really making a decision and committing to getting in shape, then this video is the right video for you. It's going to take me about five minutes, specifically four minutes, 39. So let's just dive right in because we have no seconds to lose. So essentially that decision or this idea for this video started from a client call that I had recently where the person, awesome client, um, taught me that essentially whenever he or something is going on in his life, he makes a decision that he then later on regrets with his health and fitness. Let's say he stays up later, he has four or five hours of sleep. Um, overall, kind of like health is not his priority at all. And essentially we talked about kind of fitness is often the priority number 48 and not kind of higher priority um, that it probably should be. But we're going to talk about this in a second. And today I want to give you a new perspective on prioritization and how to think about health and fitness in the first place. So there's two big points that we need to get across. You see those crowns here, perfectly drawn, drawn crowns, of the two main points of this video. Let's just kind of talk, talk about the first point. The first thing is that we have to understand that we all have a priority delusion, meaning we have the actual priorities that we have is, of, is often different than the priority that we, that we state. For example, we have to understand if the priority, that the truth is often found in what we do and not what we actually say. So you might say health is our number one priority and then we often do completely different things or completely we do things that are detrimental to our health. So it's important to understand that the behavior is what counts, not what we say, not the words that come out of our mouth. And the reason for that, by the way, is that the behavior has more energy cost and real life consequences than words. That's why children often look at what their parents do, not what they tell them. Because you know, that's evolution is optimized for children to look at what matters most, and that is the behavior of a person. And that's why, um, kind of like we often have to analyze the, where we put our time, where we put our energy and where we put our money. Because these are kind of the three things that we have that are often when it comes to time, which I think is the biggest telltale sign because that is the equal between you and me and every other person there is. We all have 24 hours. That's the classic saying, classic motivational saying. So we have to kind of the time um, where we have to look at where we do spend our time. And if you see that, let's say, uh, we say, health is our number one priority, but then you know we spend zero dollars per month on health and not a single hour in a gym or working out, then we know that is not true. And a key example of this in the sports world is like, let's say Le Le uh, Lebron James, not a basketball guy, <laughs> spends 1.5 million on his body every single year. And I remember seeing a video of Connor where he got shocked by this number because Connor was spending all his money on cars and fancy clothes, right? Or whiskey. Uh, and then afterwards we see what happened to Connor is that, you know, he did kind of the choices and in the future where we, we see the effects on our choices, um, often kind of the effects on our choices are not immediate. Connor had kind of like lost all his fights, right? Because he didn't make those decisions early on. I think he course corrected now and the future might be better. But, you know, we see the kind of the effects of our choices in the future, which is often why what we say we do and what we actually do is not kind of aligned. And this brings me to this awesome saying from Arthur Jones, I think he's founder of the first exercise machines, which is an absolute, absolute genius in my opinion. In a way, it's unfortunate that most young people are blessed with at least satisfactory levels of health because this leads them to disregard the value of their most valuable asset at the very time when they should be laying a foundation of lifetime habits that will go a long way towards preserving their health throughout life. Usually by the time they wake up to the real value of their health, a great deal of damage has already been done, damage which could have been and should have been avoided. And he didn't take his own advice though, he was a chain smoker. Anyway, so we just have 30 seconds, so let's make this super quick. The better way to think about your priorities is like a network. So instead of doing the conventional ranking, health is number one, uh, my family is number two, we have to do, think about this like a garden. You see this perfectly drawn sun, sunflower that facilitates productivity. So we need to have a consistent schedule of nutrition, sleep and exercise in place if you want to have an optimal environment that is conducive to performance. That's why Richard Branson says, 
I wouldn't be able to achieve all the things I was trying to achieve in my life if it wasn't at the peak of my fitness. Perfect. So that was the key point uh, of this video. So don't think about your priorities like in a number one, number two, number three ranking. It's beneficial to think, think of this as a way, as a garden, an optimum environment for performance. And an optimum environment for performance will always have the three kind of pillars in place, which is optimum sleep, optimum nutrition, and a decent exercise schedule. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, uh, and essentially like this video first, and then subscribe to this channel. And if you want to get coached by me, if you're a fellow vegan looking to get in the best shape of your life, then click the link below and book a free call with yours truly. And so, yeah, do that and see you all next time.